Off the top tonight, a bizarre story that is going viral. A shooting at a Grand Rapids McDonald's all over two messed up orders. Police say it was 29-year-old Shanika Torres uh, who pulled the trigger. And she's now facing a number of charges, including discharging a firearm in or at a building. 24-Hour News 8 Steve Kelso is live tonight with this strange story. Steve. Yeah, good evening, Brian and Sue. Police say things went sideways in a right powerful hurry here at this McDonald's. And like you said, it was all over one simple missing ingredient. Bacon. 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 Police say Shanika Torres first came to this McDonald's sometime yesterday and ordered bacon on her burger. When she got home, no bacon. She called back. The manager said, no problem. We owe you a meal. And then... She goes out with some friends when they're out having a good time and uh, they're driving by the McDonald's and she says, hey, actually, I got a meal coming to me. <clears throat> I still have my receipt. I'm good to go. So they pull up there and now it's a center, second interaction. So, But again, no bacon. This woman fires the shot from inside the car. Yes. She's the passenger. Yes. So she's in this seat. She has to reach across yes. her friend's face to fire that weapon. Not in front of her face, but yeah, it has to, the bullet has to pass in front of her, you bet. She was arrested a short time later at her home, and this afternoon, Shanika Torres was arraigned on three felony counts that could land her in prison. They had her phone number somehow. Yes. How did that happen? Uh, she had left it with an employee. As turns well, out, Torres was feeling fairly social at the payment window. Is she just maybe looking to establish a relationship with the person at the first window? Don't know. Don't know. Like, hey, here's my number. Call me. There you go. There you go, indeed. I spoke with a woman who was in that car driving. She says she had no idea that Tori's had a 9 millimeter in her purse. When I tried to continue our conversation, she said she really couldn't go much further because her ears were still ringing from that gunshot. Tori's is lodged in the Kent County Jail on a $50,000 bond tonight. Live in Grand Rapids, Steve Kelso, 24-Hour News 8.